although we're going to concentrate on the carving today, we're going to get our pattern from the Art of Embossing Leather Book by Alan Ann Stolman. We have traced our pattern from page 54 of, of this book, as you can see here, and we have traced it to tracing film. Please note that I have uh, dampened my leather quite thoroughly and put it in a plastic bag for about an hour to allow it to case and get ready for tooling. I've also taped my pattern in position as you see here. Uh, now I will start my tracing and I'll press just deep enough so that I can see it. Uh, I can lift it up as you can see. Uh, it looks real nice. Uh, so it's not necessary for me to trace any deeper. Just deep enough so that you can see it. If you trace too deeply, you will tend to create a sort of a ditch or depression in your leather that will give you some difficulty then when you do your swivel knife cutting. So trace just deep enough so you can see it and continue tracing very carefully. We will trace all of the solid lines as solid lines. If there are any dotted lines, we will trace them as dotted lines. As we are tracing up here in the area of the head now, there are a few things I want to point out. One line right here we've traced fairly deep. This is because that's the top of the wing. and want to make sure that we get a good separation there. And now we will very carefully trace the detail around the head and the mouth. There are a few little air lines here. We'll do very short strokes and some dotted lines for the detail on the head. Very carefully trace the eye. There are some feather details to be traced here on the head. Make sure don't trace those very deep at all because this is detail that is not going to be cut in real deep. That pretty well completes the tracing on the head. I will do some more here some very small feathers on the top of, of the wing. It is also necessary to trace very carefully with the feathers on the upper part of the leg. And as usual, keep lifting and checking. And very carefully trace the claws and the feet.
and this looks good. We are now ready to go to our swivel knife cutting. To do my swivel knife cutting, I'm going to use my favorite knife, which is the Al Stolman knife with a one quarter inch angle ceramic blade. And even though it is a blade that never needs to be sharpened, you do need to keep it stropped. I'm stropping it on a piece of cardboard that's been treated with jeweler's rouge. I'm going to start with the main parts of the eagle first. I'm going to outline the head as you see me doing here. Very carefully cutting around the beak. And the mouth opening. Cutting rather deeply to do this. I will now cut the brow over the eye. Slowly taper that off. and I'll very carefully cut the eye. And now I will come down to where the top of the wing is and I will cut that rather deeply as you can see. And as I come out to the front edge of the wing there are feathers, and I will cut these feathers, the outer edge deeply, and then the inner edge of the feather not quite as deep. You'll see the reasons for this later when we do our beveling. Now I will continue to do the feathers on the outer edge just like we did on the wing doing the same thing on the back side with these feathers back here in this part in here you'll notice this wing comes over the tail feathers here and the legs here so I want to make sure that I get some nice deep cuts in this area so that we can separate the lower edge of the wing from the legs and the tail. This is how our eagle looks after we have completed all of the swivel knife cutting. Here are the bevelers we're going to use on this project. This is number B701, a checkered beveler. B702, a checkered beveler. B202 left and B202 right, which are bevelers with diagonal lines coming off the face and two pointed bevelers, one F910, which has uh, horizontal lines, and a F976, which has 
a checkered surface. I am going to start with the number B702, which is a medium-sized checkered beveler. I'm going to use this to outline the bird, as you can see me doing here. I will outline it and get some shape to it before we start on the feathers. On top of the eye, I will use this to shape the brow. You'll notice here where the wing comes ahead of the neck. I will use the same beveler to bevel quite deeply. So that my wing stands out. I will bevel the outside of the feathers on the wing to get separation of the wing from the rest of the body. And in the case down here where I'm beveling now it will separate the wing from the two legs. As I uh, continue beveling down here in around the feet, I've switched to the smaller of the checkered bevelers to get along these inside curves here by the claws. And the other inside curves where the other one is too large. Notice that I am striking the tool a lot lighter. This is due to the fact that it's smaller, thereby it's sharper. And if we hit too hard, it'll go too deep. This is how our eagle looks after we have done all of the rough beveling. Notice now that the wing stands out from the body. Uh, the whole bird stands out from the background, including the feet. <laughs>